All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's McCookie here, bringing you guys some more Overwatch gameplay. In the background, I got for you guys a 20 kill streak in competitive mode using Reaper, and I believe I got half of the kill streak in overtime. So it was a pretty intense round that I wanted to share with you guys, and it will also be transitioning into some McCree gameplay. But enough about the gameplay. What I wanted to talk about was um, basically an upcoming patch that's coming to Overwatch. Right now it's being tested on PC and in the uh, PTR, the public test region, basically. Um, those of you on PC, I believe you can tap into it and test the patch out right now. Pretty major patch, I believe. It's. It, I want to say it's the largest update that's coming to Overwatch so far. Bringing with it a lot of changes, and I've seen gameplay of the changes, and I, I honestly, I really like it. So let's get right into it. Right off the bat, for competitive mode, which is what I'm playing here in the background, no more hero stacking, and this makes me really happy. Basically, you can no longer have more than one of the same hero on your team, which means... No more double Lucio, no more triple Junkrat, and if you're on console, no more four-man Torbjorn. So honestly, this is a time to rejoice. Really cool thing for competitive. They're also tweaking the overtime portion in competitive. So basically, um, overtime goes down. After 20 seconds of overtime, the fuse, how you see it going down on the screen right now, you'll see it kind of goes down a little slow. It's going to drop a lot faster after 20 seconds so there's a lot less uh, room for error in overtime if you guys drag it out too much and you're also going to respawn at 12 seconds instead of i believe the normal is seven or eight something like that now that's for competitive character buffs and nerfs in general basically self-healing abilities will now charge your ultimate so roadhog who can heal himself with the gas max soldier 76 who can throw down that healing shield like you see on screen right here a second ago and who else heals themselves? Basically, anyone who heals themselves, their ultimates were basically increased to be to cost 10% more. Soldiers, ultimate, and Bastion, that's who I was forgetting. Bastion has the little self-heal claw. They, they basically, their ultimates are charging at 10% uh, slower now. And Roadhog's ability has been increased. His ultimate has been increased by 45% because he can self-heal himself pretty good, but every time he does, he's basically going to be charging his ultimate. Now, to get into the giant buffs, D.Va had a giant rework in general. Basically, her defense matrix, that little barrier shield that comes up, it's no longer an alternate ability. It's basically this thing where it has, if you guys know Farah's jetpack, how it has a little meter, when you use it, it's a little half-moon meter that goes up and down. And when, you not, when you're not using it, it'll basically recharge. That's basically how her defense matrix is going to be for D.Va now. It'll, it has a one second delay, and the cooldown has been decreased from 10 seconds to one second. And at a full charge, the defense matrix will now last for a full four seconds. In addition, you have her ultimate, the, uh, the nuke, the little nerf this, where she jumps out of the mech. That is going to detonate at three seconds now instead of four. So your team has one second less to find cover. And D.Va herself, the little girl who's in control, in control of the mech, she now cannot get killed by her own ultimate. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. Because she can basically pop it out of there and start killing whoever is trying to run away from the mech. So that's going to be really awesome to see how that plays out. And D.Va is honestly going to be a really good tank pick. Right there, pick up the quad feed with the high noon. You can't nerf this. Um, what else do they do? Explosion no longer damages D.Va, so that's pretty. That's a pretty big deal. Now with Lucio, his sound barrier, the ultimate cost was increased by 10%. McCree, the man you're watching in the background of this video, he caught a buff too. His left click on PC, basically on console, his single shot revolver now has a lot more range. So it'll basically do 70 damage at a distance now, which is basically what it should have done before. Blizzard, they released a statement about this, and they said while the game plays better after the McCree nerf, they felt that he was basically a little underwhelming at a distance, so now his revolver can put, uh, can output long-range damage just like a Soldier 76 to deal with, you know, the turrets and Farah and that. So that'll be really cool, because I, I do feel like McCree is a little underwhelming at the moment, although I do agree with the Fan the Hammer nerf. I feel like that was kind of ridiculous. Now, Mercy got a major reworking. Her damage boost, when she's boosting her her allies, went from 30% increased damage to 50% increased damage, which is pretty crazy. 
Her ultimate charge cost also got increased to 30%. It did feel like you would get that a little fast if you were, you know, healing a tank all the time or something. However, movement is no longer prevented while resurrecting fallen teammates. That's pretty cool because whenever you're resurrecting people as Mercy, you're kind of just standing there and she'll say, Till Valhalla, but you're very easy to get killed. You're, you would, Blizzard basically said, you would have to fly into your team and kind of stand in harm's way and make a lot of... I see my boy Bushmeat doing this all the time. He's doing a lot of sacrifice plays to, you know, resurrect the team. Now Mercy will be able to keep herself safe while she resurrects the team. Honestly, I feel like this is great. It, it, it's it's one of those gameplay things. It's small, but I feel like it'll make a big difference. Uh, that Mercy no longer necessarily has to sacrifice herself to, you know, keep her get her team back in the fight. Soldier76 found this pretty interesting. The spread recovery, basically how accurate his gun becomes after you burst it, will begin after a short delay rather than instantly. So Soldier 76's assault rifle will not be as accurate as it was before. Now, probably one of my favorite updates about this patch is the Zenyatta buff. He basically went from uh, 50 shields and 100 health to 50 health, or I'm sorry, 50 health and 100 shields to 50 health and 150 shields which basically means he has 200 um he can take about 200 health overall so he's not as squishy anymore i overall i really like the zenyatta character design i think he's one of the coolest characters in the game but he was just way too squishy all you had to do was have a reaper sneak in from behind and he could instantly drop you in like two or three shots so now zenyatta can actually tank a little bit and take on more people but in addition to that they also buffed his Orb of Discord and Orb of Harmony so that the projectile speed goes from a speed of 30 to 120. So basically, you're going to be throwing Discord Orbs and Healing Orbs four times faster. So it's going to be an instantaneous transfer of damage and healing. I really like that because there's times where I'm playing as Genji and I'll have my boy Water or my or, or my friend Bush. They're, they're using their Healing Orbs and they're not really reaching me in time because I'm double jumping all the time. So I'm really happy about that. Also really awesome, and I've seen gameplay of this, is his Transcendence Ultimate, where basically he uh, he uses his healing ability. His movement speed is now doubled, and I've seen gameplay of this. He's flying around the map while healing his whole team. It's really freaking cool. Really awesome. And it can now heal, the healing amount for it has increased from 200 to 300 health per second. So it does more healing, and he's able to move twice as fast while he's doing it. So overall, an excellent Zenyatta buff. And Blizzard, what they said about this, basically the reasoning behind this update, even though it's, it's pretty obvious, is that Zenyatta wasn't seeing any playtime. I mean, he does a lot of damage at the sacrifice of a little less healing, but he's so squishy with only 150 health and no movement abilities that he was just getting taken out too easily, and he wasn't really a popular pick. The only character that has that much health, or that low amount of health, is Tracer, but she has blink abilities where she can kind of dash around the enemy, and she also has the recall ability where she can get her health back. Zenyatta doesn't really have that movement option. And also D.Va right here who just killed me in the video. She also has 150 health when she's outside of her mech. But she can jump around like crazy and her hitbox is really tiny. So that's a really awesome uh, change for Zenyatta. I'm going to have to start having to save up for some Zenyatta skins. Get my hands on some Ifrit. But overall guys, those are basically the patch notes. Um, got some really cool... Overall they're more buffs than nerfs. Really nice D.Va reworking. They said that she basically wasn't being picked that much as a tank. And some really awesome tweaks overall. And then we also have that new uh, sniper coming that supports Sniper Anna. So honestly, I'm very happy with this patch and just wanted to share the notes with you guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe for more. I will catch you all next time. My cookie out.